How to use Webmail from within cPanel. This demo assumes you've already logged into cPanel. Now let's learn how to use Webmail. You can actually log into Webmail without first logging into cPanel. To do that, simply type the following into your browser http colon forward slash forward slash www.yourdomain.com slash webmail where yourdomain.com is to be replaced with your actual domain name. In this tutorial though, we'll access webmail from within cPanel. Click the webmail icon. Then click go to webmail login. There are three webmail programs you can choose to use. NeoMail, Horde, or SquirrelMail. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use SquirrelMail. All three programs are very similar. Click the SquirrelMail icon. This is the main screen of SquirrelMail, and it shows the contents of the main inbox. Let's click on the Options link. Although we won't do it now, feel free to alter any of these options. Personal information, display preferences, message highlighting, folder preferences, and index order. Now click the Folders link. You can create folders and subfolders in Webmail where you can organize and store email messages. Let's create a folder. Enter a new folder name here. If we already had folders created, we could choose to put our new folder inside of one of them, thus making it a subfolder. Click the Create button. To see our new folder in the Folders list, click Refresh Folder List. Here's our new folder. You can create as many folders and subfolders as you like, whatever suits your organizing needs. Now click the Addresses link. SquirrelMail comes with a personal address book, which you can use to store commonly used email addresses. Let's go ahead and add an email address to the address book. Optional, you can put additional information here if you like. When finished, click Add Address. The new address has been added to the address book and can be seen here. Now let's go through sending an email. Click Compose. To choose an address from our address book, click the Addresses button here. You can select email addresses and indicate whether they should be put into the two CC carbon copy or BCC blind carbon copy fields. Let's put this address in the CC field by clicking here. Then click Use Addresses. The email address is automatically inserted into the CC field here. Now fill in the rest of the details. Then enter the email message here. Scroll down. Click the Send button. The message has been sent. Actually, we sent it to ourselves. Info at demo123.com. The message has already arrived in our inbox here. Now let's delete this new message from our inbox. Click this box. Then click the Delete button. The message has been deleted from the inbox. Now let's move messages from the inbox to another folder. Click this checkbox. And this one. Then select the folder where we want these messages moved to. Then click the Move button. The messages have been moved and are no longer displayed here in the inbox. Click the Temp folder, the folder where we moved the messages to. There they are! 
We are now looking in the Temp folder and can see the messages here. When finished with Webmail, you should always click the Sign Out link. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to use Webmail and specifically Squirrel Mail. Remember that you do not have to log into cPanel to access your Webmail. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.